This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Metal Gear Acid. In the last episode, we took one step closer to get into the power... What was it? Power storage that Leone called it? It's power plant, dude. Anyway, we gotta head to the power plant after going through the front of FAR, but they're uh, too heavily guarded, so we need to shut off the power, so... Uh, within the episode, I try to get some more points to try and get some more cards. I've been trying to grind for stealth cards, but I can't seem to get them for some reason. It's just, well, I mean, there's so many cards, so obviously it's not going to be guaranteed. So I still have the one stealth. I keep, uh, I equip it now, but, uh, yeah, whatever. I can still get through the mission without it. I also put in the two Nikita missile cards that, uh, Leon, I said to suggest, so let's go ahead and... Start the power plant. Yeah, I grinded in a couple of these low-end areas just to get some points. Basically, you just redo the map with specific objectives is basically how they work. Um, it also gives you a chance to catch all the cards that you might have missed previously running through there. Like, if you didn't have a specific card or hang or whatever, then you could be like, oh, I'll just go back here and get it. So, Snake, looks like you made it to the powerhouse. It's the power plant. Why do they keep calling it powerhouse or power storage or whatever? Ugh. Whatever. Affirmative. I'm not really that annoyed. It's just weird. I'll fill you in on the details now. To get into FAR, we have to take care of two things. First, disable its frontal security system. In order to do that, you need to cut the power. Well, obviously. At the powerhouse, power plant. If you manage to cut the power... It'll take five minutes for the auxiliary power to kick in, which will rearm the security system. Maybe the powerhouse is what they call where the power, like, switches and and the housing is. So if that's the case, maybe I'm being a bit too harsh. It's just, I feel like they're describing it differently, but anyway. A password must be input to open the door before that happens. Uh, so you're telling me we have to cut the power at this powerhouse, and then input a code at FAR's front door within five minutes? That sounds crazily, uh, crazily implausible. You got it, that's why we split up for this mission. You two deal with the powerhouse. You probably, we were probably given the harder mission. And I'll take care of the password. How do we cut the power? Well, you blow it up, right? There's a control room at the back. You'll find a power supply system there which must be destroyed. Yep, I thought so. As soon as the power is cut, I'll punch in the password. Get in through the front door. Then I'll fix it up so the doors can be opened from inside the building. Well, we'll have to trust you on this one. Don't fuck me on this one, Leone. Don't you dare fuck me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, there's... Oh, yeah, we were at that map previously. Yeah, we killed all the guys in the front, except for... Aren't there, like, a ton of laser grids there and everything? <laughs> I'm positioned in front of FAR now. When security's down, I'll set fire to some oil drums to draw the Aqua soldiers on guard duty. Give me a signal right before you cut the power, Snake. Right. Leone, we don't know the building, this building's layout. Could you give us an idea where to start? Okay, there's a generator in the control room. And then he just stops, and that's it. And everyone's like, Leone, could you could, could keep going? No. The control room is in the back of the powerhouse. There you have it, Snake. Go for the back of the powerhouse. Right. All right. Head for the powerhouse control room. Mission start! All right, let's look at the map here. Uh, whoop. I didn't mean to pass the turn. Okay. Damn it. Uh, right. Not that it really breaks anything. It's just, you know. If you were trying for S rank, then it'd bug me. Okay. One. Oh, see. Guy's got car, uh, two guns. That guy's got a. Can't quite tell what that is. Is that a card? Like a card to go into rooms and stuff like that? Oh, no. It might be a type of gun. I can't really tell. You can't really zoom in on what they're equipped with, so you just have to suggest. Let's see. A couple of guns. Guns, there's a card pack up there, card pack down there. Uh, gun, frontal, it looks like a frontal def uh, frontal evade, so don't hit him from the front. And another frontal evade and gun. And it looks like this one's one of those multi-area places, so. Yeah, if you're gonna go for stealth, 
you'd rather uh, hopefully you have all those stealth generators if not you're gonna have to kill people to get in so see so if that guy uh, if that guy gets killed if that guy gets killed he'll notice yeah, that's gonna be kind of annoying and if you go up the stairs you'll get noticed well definitely uh, definitely a play call for uh, um, definitely call for uh, uh, sniper rifles for one I also messed around with the deck a bit just to kind of uh, um, swap out my cards get cards that are actually better because there are cards in this game that you get that are clearly better than your previous uh, previous cards so um, that's kind of the bad isn't that bad design though that they're oh, level two, huh? um, isn't that bad design that they're that some cards eventually become like pointless like in some games like they require you to uh, uh you don't need the nikitas yet i think that's for a later area of the game um, i could swear i removed that card huh okay maybe i just forgot to oh well uh yeah so i could probably use it now or sometime soon if i really wanted to uh, oh actually should i have moved up there because he might see me when he turns back around. Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, now, is that guy going to turn around at any point? If not, that's going to be kind of annoying. You can move up like one more. It's going to be such a big... Uh, be able to see him, but she really won't do any damage to him. Because the percentage will be so terrible. Wait, I thought the game said I could see him. Is it just so far, I guess it's not worth it? Yeah, I don't know how to... Ooh, that's one of the new cards I equipped, which are really awesome. This one does a nice amount of damage. Actually, can I see that guy now that he's turned around? True, but I don't have a sniper rifle equipped. Yeah, this is kind of a... I mean, I guess we'll start discarding cards, see if we can... I mean, I have the gun, I, uh, another gun to use, but... I guess we'll start, uh... Filling up her equip since that'll work for the rest of the level, so. I was hoping, I was waiting for the, uh. I assume I can't see anyone from here, right? Yeah, the range is too far out. No, I can, but it's so crappy that it's like, what's the point? I just don't like the fact that he has this whole range. Like, how are you supposed to get past him without a stealth thing? You know? I mean, I mean, basically I'd have to, like, run up and hopefully kill him, but I don't have enough firepower currently to do that. I need to get rid of some cards, otherwise... I guess I could get rid of the Nikita now. I mean, we'll get back to it eventually. This place is not going to be like a one-time, one and done. Keep hoping I'm going to get my sniper rifle card. And uh, I guess it's too far away to, for an FAS. So I'll just have to keep discarding cards. I don't want to, but I'm going to. I mean, I could spend, like, a good deal at the beginning of the episode just waiting for the car right cards I want to, to get started. Oh, there's a big boss, at least. Uh, we can activate that. Oh, I, I think I think I forgot to talk about that. He, uh, he, sh I sh he popped up on uh, when I was buying packs and stuff like that. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to be seen. I can't really... I really don't have any other way of, like, doing this. Otherwise, we're, it's just gonna take forever for me to get to these, like, to this spot. So we have to get spotted. 
So I'll shoot him once and then use the... And that should allow me to go again. So we'll see if we can kill him or not. Probably not. He's got too much HP. That kind of makes sense. He would hear the noise or whatever. All right, then we're going to use that. So we can go again like shortly afterwards. Wait. Oh, I guess you were at zero, weren't you? Hmm. All right. Uh, I really like my chances, but I'm going to try anyway. Okay, good. Cool. There's, yeah, there's like almost... It seems like there's almost no way not to get seen unless you want to wait forever for some card packs up here. What's his... Uh, oh, I could use that now. Just to have him actually go right now. Uh, yeah, let's use... I gave, uh, I gave, if, I, I decided to finally give her, give her back the Olga card again or whatever, because it's like, yeah, she gets three turns around, it's probably a good idea to maybe give her a chance to actually, unfortunately you can actually see me, so, let's see if I can, can I actually see him? I mean, he's already noticed me already, so... Wait, did he actually... Did it show a red thing, or a... Oh, what? Really? Aw, oh, man. I was hoping to... Hmm, well, that sucks. Probably gonna get to alarm mode already. Well, I was gonna use a card, but I don't wanna... I'll just do that. Wait, when did he... Wait, when did he start help? Why, why would he... Oh, okay. Great. Now we're going to get an uh, alarm here in a second. Well, it said he was going help, so it means he's probably going to get more help. Oh, no. He's about to go. Maybe if we can get rid of him. Oh, now we get the stealth card. Great. All right. Let's see if... Aw, oh, man. Oof, that might kill him. He's got pretty good percentages, so. There we go, nice. Too bad we got seen by that one guy, so he's gonna run up and try to find us. So. <sighs> okay. What's his turn at? Three? Nah, that's gonna take way too long. I was gonna maybe think about throwing the stun grenade at him, but. That. I got rid of all, a lot of my attack cards, didn't I? Well... What's everyone else sight and everything like that? He's just going to start moving as soon as we get too close. That guy's probably going to call some, start calling people here pretty soon. He's going to call him Ted, Randall, and, uh, and if I throw the grenade, he's just going to run away. That's usually what happens. Is this turn again? Three. Oh, man. I guess I'll let him have a turn, but... got to discard some cards to try and get something else. Nope. Yeah... Uh, Taliko, Taliko or whatever ne doesn't have enough uh, combat cards. Uh, God, you have to equip that one. Aw, oh, man, I don't have enough movement. I was thinking of, like, moving down and then using that on it, but that would require quite a bit of turnage. I could move a lot and then have uh, until one. Well, what's her next turn? One. I could ever use that eight cost thing so I could actually attack him. Hate to use all these move cards, but yeah, I'll ladder down that. I was almost thinking about getting rid of my melee cards, just because it's at this point it might be inconvenient to like run up next to a guy and uh and uh man using a running man for like one spot, man. 
makes me feel makes me feel icky or something like that, you know? <laughs> I don't know why, it just it just does. It's just like ew. Alright, I'm not gonna punch him, because why waste why add the extra points? Alright, let's add that. So he'll go next. And we'll end our turn there. And we'll just wreck him. Wreck him, son! Go, Solidus! Why are you helping us? And you're shouldn't be in this universe anymore. But whatever. All right. I'll admit, I think I give way too many combat cards to Snake, and I give Taliko a lot of like action, like either a lot of equipped cards or ally reduction cards and stuff like that. So, oh, is that a new one that appeared? Because I don't remember that guy from before. He must have just appeared. So, might I might wait a couple of turns to uh. Actually, since I'm here, might as well. Oh, yeah. We'll go ahead and use Big Boss. Oh, I forgot to read the card to you guys. I'll show it later. Uh, we'll get it eventually again or something like that. This is from Metal Gear, Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake. Oh, actually, I think that was the American version? It was called Metal Gear 2, Solid Snake? I don't know what the MSX version, which what that was called. That was the MSX Metal Gear 2 when you fight Big Boss. Uh... Yeah, the big boss from Metal Gear Solid 3 or Metal Gear 5 Phantom Pain. That's him, all right. Or, well, I don't want to spoil anything because you have to play the game. It's a bit more convoluted. I like Metal Gear, but uh, sometimes the plot gets a little too convoluted. Like, almost unnecessarily so, you know? You're just like, really, Kojima? <laughs> okay. Yeah, the only way we're going to get past that is we're going to have to take out that guy from the side, maybe. That guy's gonna start moving here pretty soon. Um, might have to wait some turns. Let's see how far away are we from that? If I move there, I have to be careful of getting too close, where we might actually get caught. You know, it seems like my, my... He's gonna turn around, is he? Hey, god damn it! What the hell, game? Piece of shit. That's bullshit. You weren't moving before, and then all of a sudden you start moving. Oh, at least you're taking forever, so... Put level two. Moving. Oh yeah, that guy's gonna see the death, so... I finally got the sniper card. Yeah, you can see. He's gonna see him get killed. Um, uh, Alright. Oh wait, let's yeah, let's use that. So girl gun. Uh, whoops. No, come on. Use it. Thank you. Alright, let's use girl gun to uh, get them that uh, extra move or extra cost so we can get them out of our hair for a second. That will take him forever to go. Do you say did he mount? No. Uh no, do I wanna Dude, how much cost? I forgot how much cost that adds to Snake, though, when he, when he... I guess I'll just go and use that. Um, her weapon's pretty good, so it might be fine with that way, so... We'll use on him. Get a little extra damage there. Wait, huh? Why is it only doing two damage? Wait, hold on, what? Why did it only do two damage? He has a front evade, but that's it. Did I miss, like, when he, did he equip something that I didn't realize? Because why did it only do two damage? Okay. All right, let's, uh... Actually, it's gonna take him forever. Might be able to... Well, that'll knock him out. Actually, I may wait my turn, since they've still got a few turns before they, uh, go. Who could use, uh, could use her on... Let's see, what, what's my... What's my equip to hit him on? 80%. Okay, I'm gonna wait till my next turn so that bomb goes off. 
Yeah, luckily it doesn't immediately cause an alert, so there's that. Um, okay, and then I'm going to equip, equip Sniper Wolf on that, so we can get 100%, so that way I guarantee a, sh a hit on her, or on him, and then use that card. Yep, 100%, and it does full damage, so there's that at least, so yay, all right. Yeah, this weapon's really good. I like it, just because of the high accuracy, damage, and so forth. Right, when's that guy's next turn? I still got a bit, bit to go. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need climb, so I could probably go ahead and. All right. And your turn. Probably should go up and. I was hoping to have an equip card here. I might just swap out my. Uh... Um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm going to use, I'm not going to use the Nikitas yet. I will eventually, but can I actually see them from here? I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and, actually I already used the two guns for this, uh, for this run, so I'll just over, overlap that one. got another one. Well, that actually does damage this time. Well, it says 45, so I'm assuming it's gonna... it only take, like, two shots to kill him. Those are pretty good odds. That's probably why I equi equipped this gun. I got it from the, um... I think I got it from the Chronicler's pack, if I remember it correctly. So, yeah, there's just some cards that are just better. You know, like the SOCOM, we're never gonna use that one again. Um... Well, that might kill him too, actually. Yeah, let's do it. Why not? I was about to say, you better not screw on me, on me on this random numbers. So, all right. Since, uh, oh, by the way, since this is going to be like one of those multi-part missions, I'm just gonna, just gonna make a, uh, make it a full like. Um, um, you go up. I'll go ahead and grab the card pack. I'm just gonna make it a 30-minute uh, episode. So, like I said, I usually do 22 minutes, but uh, because it's gonna take so long, I want to get through it at a reasonable time. So I think making it 30 minutes will, will work. All right, everyone's dead, so now we can just take our time. Uh, well, I mean, take our time. The mission will. If I, uh, I really don't want to get rid of these stealth cards. Oh God! Ah! I pushed too quickly. Damn it! I hate when I do that. Oh, well, like I said, we can eventually run through the... Oh, I could have just... Oh, I didn't see that ladder there. Huh. Oh, well, what can I do? And I want to keep my combat cards just in case. All right. Let's see. All right. Oh, I'm getting all the sniper cards and that back to back. No, why are you? Maybe we should just have a. Uh, maybe we should just have to like go go get get her uh, go get the card pack. All right, let's see. Oh, oh God! I keep pressing the button too quickly. What's wrong with me? Ugh. Uh, I'd rather not get rid of my card uh, shooter combat cards, but I do have a. Uh, I'll get rid of the FAMASAs, just because I clearly have better... At this point, I have better... Okay, up the ladder. Thank you. God, I can't believe I keep... Like, I just keep clicking it too quickly. It's not automatic, you know. You, you have to... You, know, you have to pay attention to that stuff. Alright, I got those two cards, so now we can... Uh... Alright, more... Yeah, we'll just use those grenades. Grenade! Alright, let's get to the end of this map and go on to the next one. Nice. Okay. And I don't... And the reason I'm not equipping the stealth is it's a cost... Like a... Uh, an Olga. Oh, well. 
uh, it's cost, it's cost, like, it'll disappear after a certain cost around, so I don't want to, uh, oh, okay, I'll do that. That way it should be good for the rest of the, uh, rest of the area. I think Snake needs, still needs to find his equipped level two. Oh, no, I already, wait, why do I have two equipped level twos here? Huh. I need to get rid of that card. I could have swore I went through my my uh, my deck and got rid of all those cards. Although, didn't the game say that there's some cards that we share with like other like other um, with the same character? Like we got the cards we put, but then there's ones we uh, we swap out or something. Huh. You know, I, th I think I remember something about that. I'm right, just gonna leave Snake there. Let's try to turn. Yep, alright. Next room. Alright. Actually Now that we're in the uh now that we're in the next room, I think that actually that might be a good plan time for to stop, so. Alright. Well we're in part two of this uh area, so uh looks like we've got quite a few dudes. Let's see one, let's see. Two one with gun, one with four to protection, two with just guns, two with four protection, there's four. Uh, there's us. Looks like that's it for this area. And I see a card pack. So four characters, and then we have to get up to the top floor. So, might be able to get past these guys, we'll see. Maybe I'll use my stealth this turn. Although I used all my good movement cards already. Oh, I'm gonna have to... I have to go around any actually it looks like I have to go around anyway, so I have to go up the stairs and that why do you want to go down the stairs? Is there a place to Okay. Uh, unless I wanna blow up those Oh and I can oh there's a fifth guy. Oh I barely saw that guy. There's a chronicle pack there, but you have to go basically have to go up the stairs here, down the stairs, back up the stairs from that. Unless you have the hang ability, which you can hang and climb. Oh, there's another dude right up there. So there's six people. God, all right. Man, if only, maybe I should start equipped in hang and climb cards. Either that, I'll have to come back off screen and, uh, and go through this area and try to collect all the cards. But All right, well, it looks like Snake and Taleko have a bit more, uh, but a lot that they can handle. Will they be able to get to the powerhouse in time? Will Leone uh, take his, hold up his end of the bargain and put in the password? Find out something next time in the next episode of Metal Gear Acid. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.